my writers. By now, you should have filled out your big, long thinking map. So if you haven't done that, please go back and do it because it is necessary to do for our next step. So if you notice, I put this big piece of paper at the back of your packet. I did that because I need you to rip it off because we're going to have to have some papers side by side. So on the back of yours, I'm going to carefully rip it off. So I have my paper and then inside my orange packet, I am going to turn to the first page of writing line. So go ahead and do that, and I'm going to flip my camera so you can see how I make my final draft using my thinking map. Hi writers, today I'm going to show you how you can write your final draft or begin your final draft using your thinking map. Now I'm going to start with telling you that I have written mine in pen. I have done mine in pen to help you see better and to help you understand better. But writers should always use pencils because we always need to edit and it is much easier to edit when we use a pencil. So again, please use a pencil. I know that mine is in color and that you're going to see lots of colors and that is because I thought it would best help your writing brain. So right here I have my thinking map that's always complete. So if you have not finished this, I need you to go back and watch the other videos and finish this thinking map. You can't do the next part without it. I'm going to fold my thinking map in half so I have enough room on the screen for both of my things. So what I did was in my first, whoop, in my first beginning um, rectangle, I began writing my paper. So if you see, I actually did that in blue. So I wrote what I wrote in my rectangle in blue. One summer, me, my mom, and my sister, Brittany, went on a vacation. We went to Silver Springs in Florida. I finished. So then I moved to my next box in my flow map, my detail, and I wrote what I wrote again. When we first arrived at Silver Springs, we saw so many animals. My favorite was the colorful peacocks. Now I'm done with the second box. Then I move on to the third box, which I did in green. And you can see right here that I switched over the color. Now, because I still had room here, I wasn't going to start a brand new line for this. Because when we write a story, it's a continuous story. So you'll notice that I began my third box or my second detail right here because I had room because my story is still going on. I don't want it to be choppy. So you'll see that I wrote the detail. All I did was copy. And then I ran out of room. I did give everyone two writing pages in their packet, so you'll have plenty of space. So what you're going to do today is write your final draft. We're going to do it in pencil because writers need to do it in pencil. What I need you to do is to make sure that you have some beautiful handwriting because if it's so sloppy, readers can't read it and you can't read it, then how are we going to hear a wonderful story? So you're going to use nice handwriting. You might need to take some breaks. We just need to build up our stamina for writing as first graders and that's okay. And remember when we're writing, if you press really hard, that's what makes our hand hurt. So you're going to copy your whole thinking map onto your story and you're going to write it. Tomorrow, we're going to look over it and edit it. So you don't have to worry about that part. And just a reminder again, what kind of writing tool are you going to use? Yes, pencils. Good job, friends. 